Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter Pan, Peter Piper. This is Peter. How y'all doing? TGIF. It's not Friday when you're watching this, but it may be. Just not the Friday I recorded it. We're heading over to a service call in Rockville Center. Uh, home warranty company. Uh, clients got no heat. Let's go see what's going on. Smash that thumbs up button and please... Please remember about my May 1st, 2023 goal of 100,000 subscribers. We're at 50,155 right now, and we've got a ways to go, but I know we can do it in less than six months, guys. Come on. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You don't gotta, we don't got to sleep together. We just got to date a little bit, but it's free. I may even buy you a Happy Meal. How's that? Let's get going. All right, Peter. Let's go say hi. You could ring my bell, ring my bell, my bell, ring my bell. Hey, the doorbell does work. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. Shall we come in? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got no heat? Yes, we no heat. Where's the thermostat? Uh, you have gas heat? Yeah, gas. Okay. There's a thermostat for the whole house? Uh, uh, you know the house 54. It's cold. It says a little battery though. I hear something humming. What's humming? Humming that you ready for it. Just cold. A lot of zones, a lot of noise. Let me go around the other way. I can't fit in there. Too big. Sounds like it's come from one of these circulators. All right, let's see if we got any uh, professional. Bet you we have pressure. We got pressure. We got no temperature. Hey, what do you think? The pilot is lit? Um, I'll see. Oh, we got a lit pilot. Oh, I love them when they're lit pilots already. You know that? I really love when we have lit pilots. Let's turn that back on. Okay. We heard the thermostat relay click. Let's see. I love lit pilots. Wanna know why? Because that means it's gas. And our damper's open, too. See that? You know what this is called? That is our still switch. A la peanut butter sandwiches! I'll take the cover off again? Oh, it's covered still. Houston, we have ignition. Yeah, Sir, your, your blocked vent chimney switch was out on safety. That's this doodad right here. That means you may have a bad draft is issue, you may have a bad chimney, or you could have a defective switch. We're gonna test the draft here. Peter, let's go get the uh, the drill with the little uh, step bit, and let's get the test though. We'll test combustion. Might as well bring the tool bag if you don't, if you don't, if you really want to play it safe. Put my hand here, just checking to see if I have any downdraft coming out of here. Positive pressure. Right now, it appears to be good. This, this switch goes out on temperature. The high exhaust gases spill out of the diverter and come into the, the basement. It's going to trip it. You got a bad circulator, though, probably. But that's a whole nother to do. We're here for the emergency service call, having no heat. So, when's the last time the boiler had any professional service to it? Could be 2015 on January 4th. Home service here. They replaced the first floor back room 007 pump. Well, it's actually a circle, not a pump. It doesn't pump water. But uh, I guess Coke, Koch. He calls them pumps, maybe. 
you to drill the oversized hole, six inches about, about the top of the boiler, below the draft diverter, and that's what we're gonna test for, for combustion with our low battery Testo 320 combustion analyzer. 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds before it zeroes out. So far, so good, but we're more concerned about the draft here. Yeah. We're going to find that out shortly. Peter and I just realized we have one, two, three, four, five. Five zone header mm -hmm. and nothing holding this up right here. That's right. You know what's holding this up? The packs. <laughs> wow. Hacks. Let's make them stacks, baby. Uh, we're testing for draft right now. We have negative pressure. Sir, have, have you had the heat on yet this heating season? The heat was on. Heat when, when's the last time yeah, the heat yeah, worked? Yeah, it was on. I was working? Okay. Was working. I'm thinking maybe if it's the first time you had the heat on, then maybe it's maybe it went out because maybe an exhaust fan was on. No, in the, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning? Wow, yesterday morning? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh, you got the home warranty. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. How's that working out for you? Well, you know... Well, we few folks would, you know, that is, I called yesterday, this morning, really only called me. Okay, well, last know. night it was cold in here, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it so, worth it? You yeah, think? when I came in yesterday, about nothing, and I came in here, I touched all these things. It was so cool. It's cold. Yeah, I had some heat, so I had water. Yeah, you had hot water. I had hot water, so I did. Do you think it's yeah. worth having the home warranty? I'm curious. You know, I, I always, I was ready to stop it. You ready you know, to stop I, it? I was just lazy. Oh, okay. Really, really. I hear you. Lazy because last time, uh, that was for air conditioning. Yes. You know, they gave me somebody when I heard it up. Oh. And when I called it, it was wait at the last minute, up to now. So I had to call somebody emergency. Yeah. You know, it cost almost 2,000 bucks. You know, and up to now, at the end of my year. Yeah. But well, we offer, I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but we offer maintenance plans for, for the boiler, which is 20, 20, 23 95 a month. And we come here once a year, we do a tune-up, uh, and you get priority service, after-hour service, things like that. I'll take, I'll take it. You know, you should, it's, 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 it's a good thing. I'll take it. All right, I'll hook you up. Very good. And then, you know what, next week or in two weeks, we'll come and we'll do a real tune-up on the boiler. Right. You, it's, it's, one of the, it's an included benefit. Well, yeah, Perfect. Yeah, See? Yeah, Ask, you shall good. receive. It's pretty nice. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So let me show you this. There's a switch. See these two black wires? Mm -hmm. One's black and has a white stripe. Well, this is a switch, and it senses, like, if, if the exhaust doesn't go up the chimney mm -hmm. and it wants to come out of here, okay. this is going to sense temperature, and a lot of temperature, like 220 degrees. So there's a little button right there, right? If I, and I, I don't know if you heard it click when I first got here. I just pushed it in, like, in between these two wires. Just push that little button in, mm -hmm. and then you'll hear the boiler click on, mm -hmm. and you know that's the problem. But don't keep pushing this. If this happens once in a blue moon, that's okay. okay. But if it happens all the time, then something's wrong. And that's one of the reasons why we drilled a hole here, and that's why we tested for the exhaust gases to make sure it's safe. Okay. Make sure the boiler is running properly, because, listen, what good is me pushing a button in if, it, if, it, if it's not running safely, you know? Mm -hmm. I gotta make sure you're safe. You know, I don't care about, you know, if you're cold, but if you're, not, if, you're, if you're not safe and you're warm, who cares? You know, you could be dead, you know? So, just keep that in mind. So, if, if, if this happens again, that's okay, once in a blue moon, but if it continues happening, you can have that maintenance plan with us. You call us, we'll come here, okay? Okay. Excellent. There's our sticker right there. Peter's gonna take a U-line shipping contain uh, shipping a uh, package slip. All right, put that right there. Boom. And we're gonna put the printout of today's combustion analysis in there. We'll leave the top open that way. Future visits when the combustion analysis is done. All right, and just stick them right into the little shipping pouch right there. It's nice. Very very nice. Just like that. Bingo. Nice. All right. There's the service tag for today. Spill switch reset and CO test. PC and MD. Boom. Let's do a quick little overview. Make sure our relief valve is proper. That says 30 PSI. Perfect. Our Tako half inch pressure reducing valve is okay. Backflow prevention device, okay. Drip leg on the relief valve is dry. Expansion tank is okay. This one's installed in the wrong direction and it's about to give way. Wait, look at this. See how it's, yeah, not too good. You see that, look. That's weighing down. This fitting is bending. 
And there's a lot of weight on that band line right there. There's a lot of weight on that one little screw. Let me tell you, so that screw gives way, which looks like it's about to. Bow. <laughs> oh, man. That is not good. Peter, we have any, uh, let's get, a, get another screw right there. I'm not reinventing the wheel today, but I don't want this thing to, to flood out his basement. And take a look at the um, the melted uh, discussions on top of the nipples here. Let's see. We're already on high temperature. Is there a sink down here? Good. Okay. Now I'm running the hot water. I want to see if, if this is old. Ooh. Or this is a, a continuous problem. So the water heat is ready on very hot. So we're running the domestic hot water at the laundry sink. We're gonna let this water heater kick in and see if uh, we have positive draft here. That would explain something with the water heater as well, even though it's working. I mean, with the boiler, that means, but it's working fine now though. But you know, I just spend a few more minutes here making sure everyone is safe. Now it's not running anymore. What the fuck? Is that sink still on? You turn it off? I did turn it off. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what happened here? Uh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> this is weird. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Is there another sink here? Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. How did that force just all of a sudden stop working? Totally stop working. Totally stop working. That's know. effing weird. We should probably get the fuck out of here. So did you learn something today about that spill switch and you knew that already? Um You've mentioned pressing that button to me before, but I've never been on a call where that solved the problem. See? But it's a little push of the button, like you're gonna push that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button, don't push it, smash it! And also, please subscribe. 50,000 subscribers was just the other day. 100,000 in less than six months. Come on, guys, I can do it with your help, and it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.